How do I define digital experience? A digital experience is that which we engage with as individuals when, frankly, interacting with anything that isn't immediately physically in front of you. Uh, it could be how I engage with somebody on, or a service on a mobile phone. It could be how I interact online. Uh, it could be any manner of experiences that are supplemented through uh, engaging through a screen of one kind or another, big or small, uh, in you know, kiosks uh, or in the palm of my hand. Some of the challenges and, and I think some of the biggest obstacles to really producing exceptional digital experiences are around the fact that people are daunted by it. They have heard vendors and peers talk about the, frankly, the sheer variety of things that can be done, the personalization, the expectations of consumers, and, and the, you know, the data lake that we all live in. They've heard all these things, and in trying to sort of assimilate them, uh, many people are just flummoxed. They're daunted by the prospect of trying to put this together and somehow kind of manually craft these digital experiences, where to start. Uh, and so I think that one of the, the challenges that we as, an, uh, as organizations in this space have, uh, and you know, as a marketeer and a practitioner of this stuff, one of the challenges is how to be okay with trial and error, how to be willing to uh, let certain experiences play out and learn from them. Not all of them are gonna be good. Not every one of them will be optimized. But that's part of the learning process. And I, I think that uh, overcoming that fear, that barrier, that um, trepidation of where to start uh, is one of the single largest challenges. People are kind of stuck. The promise of a digital experience is built on the expectation of consumers, the expectation that we as individuals, we're all consumers, the expectation that we have that any organization we're engaging with should be there to service us. There's been this fundamental shift in the balance of power between um, what consumers used to do or had done to them by brands, manufacturers, and so on, and where they're at now. And that balance of power has fundamentally moved in favor of the consumer. Uh, the consumer is empowered, they're enabled, they're connected, they're mobile, they have a network of friends and relatives who they can turn to for information that they trust. Uh, and, and as such, the, the promise for them is, or the expectation for them is super, super high. Brands and organizations dealing with consumers have got to recognize that they're in a fundamentally different place than they were 10, 15, even five years ago. Uh, and that in order to meet the ever-rising expectations of those consumers, they have to be more nimble, they have to fundamentally catch up and, and try and keep abreast of how quickly consumers are uh, adopting this technology. Uh, and they have to change the way they're engaging with their consumers, otherwise they will cease to be relevant because they're not meeting that expectation, which is always on the rise.